Let's get down and dirty with all the awesome settings in the match height stack. Hey everybody, Joe Workman here. And in this video, we're gonna be going in depth into the match height stack. We're gonna look at all those advanced options and see how we can create really nice layouts with matching the heights of various elements within our layouts, right? So without further ado, let's jump on in and have some fun. Now here is an example of a slightly more advanced layout using match height. Inside this layout, we're matching multiple things. If we look at this particular layout without any sort of match height going on, we'll see that the headers are different sizes and then our middle content is different size as well. Okay. So how do we accomplish this so that everything is uniform? Our header areas, as well as our middle content areas are all matched. First off, we start off by turning off single rule mode, and we're now going to be entering multiple rule mode for this particular layout. Now, when you click on multiple rule mode, you'll notice that all the other settings are gone from this stack. And the reason is there's now a child stack that you can add multiple rules for your layouts. So you'll notice that there is a plus button added to the bottom of my match height rules, and I can just click on that to add a new rule to my layout. So let's look at the existing rules that I have set up here, okay? Um, I have one that's gonna match the top and a rule that's gonna match the middle of my layout, okay? So if we look at the top layout, we'll see that I'm going to target inside this rule, the match height ID. And if we look at this target list, it's exactly the same as we saw in the single rule mode, okay? But in this particular option, we wanna um, match a particular height ID, okay? And I'm gonna set that ID to be top, okay? Now we have multiple rules here. So um, now for this rule, I wanna make sure that the height is the same on just the row, I don't wanna have a stop rule and I wanna set my property to use the height property. Now for the second rule here, it's a very similar setup. All I have to do is set the match height ID to be something different. In this case, I used the word middle. So how do we assign these particular match height IDs to our layouts? Match height ships with a second stack called match column. And we see that match column here inside of our layout. And if we look at the settings for this match column, you'll see that the only setting in here is for match height ID. And this is where I can set the ID to be top. So what I've done is I've added a match column, okay, to the top of each of my layouts. And I set the match ID to be top on all three of them. And as you might suspect, the middle column that contains the content in the middle, okay, has a match ID of middle. And it's the same on all three columns inside my layout. Now you can treat this match column as just a one column stack, okay? That's essentially what it is. It's a one column stack with a match height ID assigned to it. Now there are some stacks out there that are already have integrated with the match height ID. Um, Sections Pro and Sections Box do. Um, a feature update to foundations will bring the match height ID to the columns as well. So uh, we're gonna have multiple options here. If you don't wanna use the match uh, column stack, uh, see if your favorite column stacks or elements out there already support it. So now that I have set up my multiple rules for top and middle, and I've added my match column inside my layouts, and all of those match columns are now gonna be matched, right? This is how we can achieve this particular layout. Really simple, just by adding a couple you know, column stacks and adding some IDs to our layouts. Now, if we look at the second tab in this example, we have a slightly different layout. We have the first and last columns matching, but the second column is larger and it makes it stand out because it's different, right? This is great for pricing tables, okay? How did we accomplish this? Now, achieving this layout is super easy, okay? Essentially, I have the same exact layout that we had before. I have the match columns on the top and the middle for you know, all my columns. Now, for the middle column, what I've done is I've just changed the match height ID to be something different other than top. In this case, I just typed in off, and 
for the middle, I typed off as well. So that means that the match height IDs will only match the rules that I've defined in the first and last columns here. Now, I could have just added a one column stack instead of using a match stack, okay? Um, but it was quicker for me just to build this layout um, since a match column is the same thing as a one column stack. All I needed to do was make sure that I changed the match height ID to be something different than what my rules were, and it would basically ignore this middle column. Now, also what I did is on the first and last column, I added a little bit of margin uh, to the top so they, they looked a little bit indented uh, down since this middle column was so much taller uh, than the first and last columns. So you've pretty much seen it all now, but just for thoroughness, I'm gonna go through and look at this final demo, okay? Now here I'm using a foundation block grid and I am matching various groups, okay, depending on the row. So here I, I'm matching by row um, two different groups. Let's look at this. So here's this particular layout. We'll see that inside the match height stack, I have set to multiple rules. So if we scroll down, we'll see that I have two rules set up here. I have a rule for group one, which is set to be have a match ID of group one. And we're then we're going to match on the same row. And I have zero stop rules and we're using the height property. And the similar thing for group two, I just set the match height ID to be group two instead. So adding this to our layout is really simple. Here I've just added a couple of foundation panel stacks, okay, that have various colors, okay? And I made sure that, you know, each panel corresponded to its particular group, right? So if we, if we look at this, I've added a match height stack to my panel and then the content inside that match height stack, okay? So here, if we look at this, I, I set the match height ID to be group one. And if we look at the match height stack, and if we look inside the match column stack on this one, it's set to group two, so on and so forth. Every single match column stack inside this layout is set to either group one or group two. And I've made sure that those are color coded. And that's all we needed to do for this advanced layout, right? It's really simple. With that match column stack, it really gives you a lot of flexibility and power in terms of assigning various heights to different components within your layout. Now this height ignore row is the same exact setup. The only difference is inside my rules, I have the um, you know width within the same row setting unchecked. And then the stop breakpoints uh, demo here, again, the same exact settings as our first one, I just configured a stop breakpoint in each rule. In this example, I stopped it between 700 and 1,000 pixels. So that does it for our in-depth tutorial of Match Height. As you see, even for advanced use cases, it's still really easy to use, right? That match column stack makes it really super easy to assign various match IDs throughout your layout. Now, like I said before, there's a lot of other stacks out there that integrate using Match Height ID as well. So have a look at that, okay? I know Sections Box does and Sections Pro from Big White Duck and Foundations Columns will soon, okay? But until then, that match column stack will work wonders in terms of you know giving you a lot of flexibility in assigning the height to various layout components. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you see how easy match height is and how powerful it is to you know do dynamic layouts on your websites. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching everybody today and I'll see you soon. Bye.